Yes, uh, we, we have been giving some thought as to, you know, what we will do in the you know, in weeks and, and months ahead, uh, understanding that, um, you know, we're seeing a price of fuel increase and other uh, cost of living metrics that are, are increasing, uh, in part due to uh, the world starting to find its way through COVID, in part due to conflict, the conflict that we see with Russia invading uh, Ukraine. Uh, so most certainly uh, we, we are starting to have these discussions as to, you know, what we would do if there was potential revenues uh, increases, in particular revenue increases uh, due to the price of oil. Uh, we see what's happening in Alberta, uh, a province that's much more uh, reliant on uh, fluctuations in the price of oil as far as their provincial budget is. We're much more diversified. Uh, uh, much, we have a much more diversified economy here uh, in, in Saskatchewan. So understanding that it is temporary, that we do have a, a, a much, lar much larger, uh, we have much larger diversity in our economy in Saskatchewan, uh, we are looking at, you know, what would potentially this look like? So uh, looking at things like debt repayment, uh, operating debt that this province has due to COVID. We've invested close to $3 billion in supporting Saskatchewan people over the course of the past two years uh, through this, this global pandemic. Um, looking at what, uh, and, and we have an operating debt that we inherited, quite frankly, from the NDP a number of years ago that is still in existence. Um, looking at, you know, should we uh, be looking at if there's a significant amount of, of revenue here, uh, a save, moving on some type of savings account on behalf of the people of the province, but also thirdly looking at, you know, is there an opportunity for us, understanding this is the people of Saskatchewan's resource, uh, to look at a way to return uh, some of that directly to the people of Saskatchewan in, in some way. And so we're in the early stages of looking at that, uh, likely at a different level than maybe a, a province like Alberta that is largely dependent on uh, fluctuations in the energy uh, industry, in the oil price uh, per se. But I would just go on to say that you know, what we are seeing uh, occur in, in Ukraine, Russia, the relationship with uh, other countries that purchase from Russia, uh, this is a very important conversation for us to have in Canada and for us to have in North America around um, our energy security, our continental energy security, our continental food security, and ultimately our, our economic sovereignty. We need to take care of ourselves. We still import oil from other areas of the world, including Russia, into uh, Canada. That needs to stop. And we need to look at how we are going to provide some of the most sustainable oil in the world, which is produced right here in Saskatchewan, uh, how we're going to provide that to other Canadians, and how we're going to provide that to other uh, people across North America to provide that continental energy security so that we don't find ourselves in the perplexing situation that we see other countries in today.